Milwaukee police have been sifting through a landfill trying to find clues in Kelly Dwyer's disappearance. The last person thought to have seen her alive has been in and out of court. Yona Gavino joins us live from the Milwaukee County Courthouse with this update. Yona. Yeah, Mike and Carol, Chris Zocco sat in court today shaking his head in disbelief as the drug charges were read. Now, Kelly Dwyer was last seen about two weeks ago after she spent the night at his apartment. Chris Zocco sat in court showing no emotion. His attorney asked for some of the drug charges against him to be dismissed. Because there's been no evidence presented to substantiate charges of keeper of a drug house or possession with intent. She would get cocaine from Tone um, and then they'd return to his apartment to smoke, to snort the cocaine, which they did that night. The judge ordered Zocco to stand trial, but it still hasn't gotten police any closer to finding out what happened to Kelly Dwyer. It's the second time in three days Zocco's been before a judge. On Saturday, he appeared in court, charged with 17 counts of possession of child pornography, and prosecutors said he may be a suspect in her disappearance. This defendant is a very key suspect in a missing person and probable homicide investigation. Police haven't officially linked him to her disappearance. They've been searching a landfill for clues, but keep coming up empty. Again, Chris Zocco has not been charged in Kelly Dwyer's disappearance. So far, he's only been charged with possession of child pornography and keeping a drug house. We're all hoping that Kelly Dwyer is found safe and soon. In the meantime, billboards are going up around the area asking for help. Live in Milwaukee, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. Yeah, so many mm -hmm. questions. Thank you, Yona.